Who's Frank, going first? Yes, young man. Has there been any updates on the terms of Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder? No. Fight? No more updates. No more updates. How's it looking though? Is it's it all right ahead? to me. It looks okay to me. Fingers crossed we'll get it over the line. But I'll tell you what we, kept, we have signed and got done is Jack Catterall <laughs> and O'Hara Davis. That's signed. So we can talk about that if you want to, boys. How much of an exciting fight is it? It's a great fight. It's a great fight. It's a great fight. You know, it's the two guys at the top of their game. Uh, two young lions. Um, they both want the fight. They're active fights. Their two last performances were really good. Um, O'Hara, I think, was involved in a fight which is potentially knockout of the year. And Jack went over to had that fight in Ireland and done a great job out there as well. So these guys are, these guys are going to give the public what they want, which is a real good fight. Boxingvoice.com. Um, Daniel Dubois fighting Kevin Johnson. Um, it was Kevin Johnson post of the year, and um, this looks like it's an interesting fight, another fight where Daniel might be tested in the mind. It's a, it, it, it will be. I mean, you know, he brings a lot to the table, Kevin. That He's got experience. He's been there, done it. We've been in with the world champions. He's gone the distance with these guys. And for Daniel to be a step up and hopefully a, a good fight that he'll learn from. Frank, how likely is it that the Davis Carroll fight will be made an eliminator and could it even be a final eliminator? Well, I want it to be a final eliminator and we're working on that and they're working very hard on it, so fingers crossed we get it over the line. And you've got a good and established relationship with Maurice Hooker and his team, of course, so it could be an easy fight to make for the winner. Well, Hooker's signed with. Um, I was with Zone. Yeah, so he signed with them. Um, I don't see there's any problem making that fight with a winner because, you know, we're in the business of making fights. But I think in the meantime, he's got to defend his title, hasn't he, Hooker, against um, Sulcida, which is a tough fight. That's a tough fight. It was with Bob Arum. But whatever happens, if our guy, the winner of that fight is in number one, we'll make it happen. And obviously Billy against Andrade, which has recently been agreed, shows that you guys can work together on, the, on a US basis at least. I, I work with everybody. I mean, I've never always worked with promoters. It's never been a problem for me working. It's uh, some people don't want to work because they want to earn it themselves. But I'm, I've got no problem doing that, and I do what's best for my guys who I'm working with. And um, I've got and I've got confidence in my fighters to go and fight in other people's promotions if need be. Frank come up uh, recently. Obviously, Tyson Fury is close to having video on Deontay Wilder fight. How come it's taking you? How come it is so easy for you guys to make that fight instead of what happened with Matt Drum and AJ Wilder? Because we want to make the fight. Not as greedy as Matt Drum. No, it's not even about being greedy. It's like the money's right. The money's right. And if the people, if the fighters want the fight, it's done. Um, obviously, eighty million dollars wasn't right for. Anthony Joshua, it was a guarantee, I'd seen it, it wasn't right for him, and uh, they didn't want the fight. The, the money, if the money weren't right, if $80 million doesn't make the fight, you know, a rematch and a fight, <laughs> then that tells you somebody didn't fancy it. Are they the type of figures which you guys having to negotiate with Dion Dev, yourselves and no. Tyson? Then? No, no, nowhere near that. Frank, I mean, how excited are you to be working with Matt Truman and Eddie Hearn? Oh, I'm not stopped, so I'm not going to... I'm not slept for days. The anticipation, I've never been... i tell you what, I, well, I'm not, I can't get over it. I'm, I'm not, it's not a question about working, it's a question about my fighter fighting on the show, which, and we go out there, be press conferences leading up to the fight, and my guy will then go and do what he's got to do. Have there been a date set for the... No, we've not even had a contract yet, so fingers crossed we get the contract. Frank, what about uh, Anthony Yard and uh, Joshua Boatsy? Is that something that could happen? I saw uh, Tunde's comments yesterday. Um, well, look, he's, he's, at the moment, they're both out in the, they're out in the States. They've travelled today to go and see the uh, Kovalev Biv, Bivol. I can't pronounce yeah. it. I got it right. Yeah, Bivol fight. I can't pronounce his name. Um, they're going out to see that. He's ranked number one in the world. Was he one of the guys who's had seven fights? He's irrelevant. It doesn't mean anything to us. Why don't they go and make Jose Alberto? He's been sitting there scratching his ass for, for a long time. There's a great fight for, for um, uh, Buatzi. Great fight for it to be made. Why don't they make that fight? Two guys like we've done today. See, we make the fights happen. Leon Woodstock's fighting against um, Archie Sharp. Archie, sorry, against Archie Sharp. We've got uh, the ones we were just talking about here with Jack and with O'Hara. We make them happen. They've got fighters, they don't even make them happen. 
Make okay. them happen. Who's Katie Taylor fighting for the world title? Sorry? Okay, um, sorry, who's uh, Nicola Adams? We'll, tell, Nick we'll be telling you next week. Yeah, I'll tell you next week. Okay, thank Frank, you. just one final thing on Fury Wilder. Fury on Twitter put it down as 95% certain to happen. You're the promoter. I think you're probably a bit more sensible with your proclamations. What? How certain is it to happen? What percentage would you put on it? 96. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, it's happening. That's it, there you go. We're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen. When there's fighters, the fighters want it. And the fighters are happy with the money. So it'll happen. But here, here or there? Yeah, we'll see about that. I mean, you know, but again, Tyson's a traveller, and that's what he does. He travels. If you've got to go to the stakes, he'll travel. Brilliant. Cheers. Good, fellas. Frank, was the 50 mil offered to you guys? 50 what? The 50 million offered to you by um, Deontay. Deontay oh, well, I can't tell you what the purse is at the moment. You know, it's still, uh, it's um, got a confidentiality clause in the contract. The only reason the money's were mentioned about what was offered to Anthony yeah. Joshua is so the public can actually see what the will to make that fight. That's the only reason they, they came out with the money. Frank, can I, can I just ask you one more if everyone else is finished? Go on. Frank, um, I forgot to actually ask you about um, the thing on Talk Sport the other day with you and your old friend Tony Bellion. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. No, what, what was that about? He was saying he was saying one thing, you were saying another about seeing contracts and etc. What did Shelley Finkel put a statement out yesterday? What was the contract? What was the statement? Didn't he say yesterday that I'd seen the contract? And he was obviously Tony Billy was obviously disputing that. Well, who cares what he's disputing? I mean, it's irrelevant, isn't it? I mean, they they, they got me on. I was on that program that morning to talk about get me on there and then we're just trying to get Bellu Fury going but obviously we're looking for much bigger and better things in fighting Deontay Wilder I think that's basically took the wind out of their sails and as regarding the contracts I've seen it they, they made that offer categorically made that offer so did you see what proof of funds that everybody was talking about Listen, you're well? talking about Shelley Finkel who's looked after before you were born, Colonel <laughs> Whitaker's fighters, great fighters. It's Al Heyman who works for them, who works with Mayweather. Proof of funds, are you sure? And then you've got Showtime came out. Showtime came out and said the money's there. I mean, do me a favour, <laughs> proof of funds. This is just a total lot of bullshit. You either want the fight or you don't want it. The money was good, you don't want it. That's why it's not happening. Frank, have you been dragged into all this as well? Oh, no. Say that again? Have you been dragged into all of this talk? In what way? In law, with everything with Tony Bellew and everything yesterday, well, like they just bringing you up. Put me on the phone on Top Sport and brought it up. Did, did you know that? Did you know that that was? No, I didn't ball. know what was coming. No, they got me on the line, and, and they didn't know what was coming either. So we had a bit of fun. Cool. Thank you, fellas. Thank you, fellas. Thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers, my son. Cheers. You look after yourself. You too.